Hello animal communicators and welcome to this week's live and completely free power training created just for you. Um, today I want to share two things with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, firstly, your number one uh, key to your success as an animal communicator, no matter where you are on your journey. And the second piece is a very special announcement I'm so excited about. I can hardly contain myself. So before we dive in, just for those of you that do, do not know me, uh, my name is Sarah Jane LeBlanc. I'm a professional animal communicator, trainer, mentor and coach. And I've been doing this work for more than 20 years now and teaching people just like you how to connect and communicate with animals. What I've discovered over time is that I have a, a zone of genius and really helping established animal communicators hone and fine tune and perfect their skill. How can I do that? And it's all to do with my people work. So I have a background in coaching, counselling and um, therapy work. So I use all of those therapeutic uh, skills and I bring them to the animal communication teaching table. So that's how I can really help you just dive down, dig deeper and get long lasting, sustainable results. So this is what I love to do. I love to um, geek out on all things um, coaching, all things therapeutic, because whether we're working with animals or people, that's the that's the juice that makes us better as human beings. And that's what helps us elevate our work as animal communicators. When we are working on ourselves, we're elevating ourselves, which means our work elevates and it means that we make a bigger difference with the animals. But let me dive into today's teaching. So the first piece is really, really simple. I've talked about this before because it's so important. And it's looking at how you can skyrocket your animal communication success, whether you're a beginner, whether you have some experience or whether you're an established practitioner. You want to really be having someone by your side. You want to have a coach, a mentor, a teacher, a trainer, somebody that can direct you, somebody that can help you see where you're doing good work when you can't see it. Do you know that expression? You can't see your own wood when you're in your own trees. So it's like that with animal communication work as well. When I assess students' case studies, I'm always blown away about how hard they are on themselves and they can't always see the really good work that they're doing. Sometimes, this happened twice last week, sometimes students will actually create change, behavioural change with an animal and I'm able to see that that change was actually accidental rather than deliberately intentional. So it works both ways, it works both ways. But that really is your number one key to your success and improving your animal communication work. And as you know, if you improve your animal communication work, then you improve the difference that you can make for the animals. Now, I am not knocking um, all the great free content that's out there. That's what I'm here doing. I come in every week. I've doing, been doing this now, I think four years on a consistent weekly basis. I've been doing a weekly power training for four years where I bring some nugget of information, some um, insight, wisdom, and sometimes complete teaching strategies so that you can elevate your work. And I always want you to elevate your work from ordinary to extraordinary. That's my piece that I'm, I'm very clear on what I want you to be. I want you to be an extraordinary animal communicator. So I'm not knocking the free stuff that's out there. I know that my own is absolutely value laden. Um, and the, over years, the amount of people that have said, oh my God, you've given me more than what I got in a paid training program. And that's the piece. There's lots of good quality free content out there that you can watch, absorb and learn from. There's also some not so great uh, information out there as well and you don't really want to be absorbing and learning from from that but that's part of the issue how do you know and what do you know um to follow and not follow and to do and not do and what's good practice and not so good practice and that's where having a teacher with credibility and a good reputation will always always catapult you from point A to point B, the quickest and the fastest way possible. When you are working with a coach or a mentor, they can just speed the process up. And who wants to wait a single day longer than they have to, to be able to make the difference with the animals? I know that I don't want to, and I don't want that for you either. So if that is what you are, if that's the place that you're at right now, and you want to, um, 
catapult your, your work, you want to be more, do more, then I do encourage you to either reach out to myself. And if you want to reach out to somebody else, that's okay too. Check their credentials. That would be the first thing because every single intake on my program, on my professional practitioner program, I have at least one student that's had a bad experience somewhere else. So check their credentials. Don't be shy. Ask if you can speak to other students. Any teacher worth their salt will not have any problem putting you in touch with students that have already come through their program. So don't be scared. Don't be scared. If you're investing in yourself and you're using your hard-earned cash, your time and your energy to do this work, you want to make sure that that's all going to the right place. So if you are ready to have that level of support to accelerate your learning, to increase your impact, to make a bigger, better, and more improved difference, then have somebody by your side. I would love to be that person. I really, really would. And I would love for you to reach out. Now, what, whoever you reach out to, just remember, do your research, do your research, um, talk to, to other people, ask for testimonials. That stuff's really, really important when you are making it a big decision, like who, who is going to uh, support you in your animal communication work. And if you're ready for that right now, this is where my second piece um, that I want to share with you comes in today because, oh, so excited, I am running my first in-person event since lockdown. I've been teaching this work for more than 20 years, but it's my first in-person event. I've been doing live um, online teaching, but this is in the flesh. You get to come and touch me and I get to touch you and we get to see each other and speak and share lunch. And oh, I'm so, so excited because this workshop is a weekend workshop at the end of June. This weekend workshop is, it's just, going to be so magical it already is magical it's going to be so magical I have not created this by myself there have been two major influences in making this workshop happen the first is good old St Francis of Assisi um, when I was in Italy in Assisi that was his guidance for me Sarah Jane you need to get back to nature back to live in person teaching and I also have a background in shamanic work so a lot I do a lot of land work land healing and that was his guidance you know heal the land be healed by the land show people what to do how to do it get back into doing the live in person work again and that could not have been any clearer so he's the first influence for this workshop very much guided by St Francis Francis himself. And then the second, the second influence that has made this workshop happen is Albi. So Albi is the star of not one, but two books. He's got two books written about him and he is just the most incredible dog. And it has been my absolute privilege to have got to know him over the last six years. I'll put the link to his book um, in, in this one once I finish the video because, oh, such a magical read. It's so heartwarming, completely spellbinding. I had that read in one sitting and I'm not the fastest reader, but I had that read in one sitting because I couldn't put it down. There's the stories of him, his other animals, and this is uh, very much a story of love, a story of teaching. He is teaching the world how to deepen the bond with animals. And I just feel so privileged to know this boy, to have been a part of his journey and to be teaching this workshop with him. We're going to be co-hosting. So you'll not just be working with me, but you'll be working with Albie and his friends too. Oh, so excited. And we'll be in such a beautiful environment where the land is just so healing in its own right. I've been doing some work with the land, really preparing the land and Albie whoops I'll be myself and St Francis will be there to guide and hold this whole experience but here's the really really important part this is an exclusive workshop one off this won't be happening again not in this format and uh, certainly not at this price point because this is a VIP workshop but it's being sold at ordinary workshop prices there will only be space for you and seven other people you and just seven other people. Oh, how intimate is that? Like how up close and personal is that? I can't wait. I really cannot wait because where I know that I shine and excel in my 
and my gifts as not just as an animal communicator, but as an educator, as a coach, as a therapist, is when I'm working in that really deep way. That's where I show up best. So I'll be showing up as my absolute bestest self ever in this tiny VIP um, intimate environment where there's just you, me, and seven other people, and Albie, and St. Francis, and we will just have the most magical experience. So I will drop the details of how you can uh, get hooked up to that. I wouldn't hang around. As I say, it's a VIP event. I just wanted it to be magical. My first, my first live in-person event, it needed to be special. It needed to be magical. And I really, truly, truly believe that I have ticked all of those boxes. So I'm just beyond excited. And to be able to offer it at a, a totally not VIP, VIP price. And I'm also throwing in an early discount for you as well. So my husband is 50 this year. Um, and I thought, right, he's 50 on the 6th of June. So I'm going to run an early bird with a 50 pound reduction until his birthday. Um, so he's 50 and there's a 50 pound reduction uh, that finishes on the 6th of June at 5 p.m. UK time. So yeah, I'm just Oh, so excited. And coming back to the main teaching point, it's when you have somebody there, like, you know, as much as I'm excited about this, and I, I'm, I'm sure you can tell, it grounds me really quickly when I come into the teaching point for today, because it's so important. It's like, it's like practicing your golf swing. Not that I even play golf, but you're practicing your golf swing, think, right, I'm going to do 100 golf swings every day. So you might be thinking with animal communication, it's like, right, I'm going to do a practice case study every day. But if you're swinging the golf club wrong, if your stance isn't correct, if your arm angle isn't correct or any other things that are important in swinging a golf club, then you're not going to perfect your swings. You are just going to do 100 ineffective swings. And it's exactly the same with your animal communication work. If you are practicing and not utilizing the breadth of training that is available for you to do this work really, really well. If you are practicing and you don't know what questions to ask or when to ask them, where to ask them or how to ask them, you're not going to get the best results from your communication work. And that matters. That matters. Unless you are just asking if an animal is happy in their home, then it matters. You need to be able to know what questions to ask to get to the bottom of difficult behaviors. You want to be able to have enough skill and example and coaching and teaching that lets you approach really sensitive areas, not just with the animal, but with the guardian as well, so that you can always be advocating for the animal and putting in place the, the best the best that you possibly can for the animal. And that doesn't come overnight, even with teaching, even with a mentor at your side. These things take time to perfect and to practice and to, to get right. So if you're doing animal communication without any of that, then it's going to be even harder. It's going to be even harder. And as I said at the beginning, a lot of what makes the, the difference between the students on my programs um, outcomes is the the level of people work that I bring to the table. And I'll be bringing all of that to this weekend workshop. Um, if you followed me for a while, you know that I can't hide stuff. I can't keep stuff back. I'm not good at that. If I've got it, you'll get it. And in, in an environment like that, and that real VIP experience, you will be getting it all and more because we'll be looking at your blocks. We'll be seeing what's holding you back in your communication work. We'll be seeing what's, even if you're an established practitioner, I will be able to see, I have this laser spite, uh, spotlight that just helps me see where you're holding yourself back, where you're selling yourself short. And then I can really help guide you gently, lovingly into the new area of animal communication that you're capable of working at. But you might just be a little bit scared to go there or you might not even know how to go there. That's the depth that we will be working at together. So it's really important that you have that guidance and that mentorship uh, so that you can really be the best that you possibly can be. And I would just love, oh, so much, if you and seven others um, came and joined me and uh, had this magical experience with me, with Albie, with St. Francis, 
where we can work together, commune together, connect together, and we can also connect with the land. That would be an important part of this workshop too, where we're, we're really being guided by the land and learning how to heal ourselves by being in connection with the land. So that will be a part of the, the workshop too. The, the main focus is animal communication. It'll be a good 85% animal communication with a, a, a real nice meaty slice of communing with nature and working with nature too. So that's uh, the, the workshop that I'm so excited about. But coming back to the original um, teaching point here, get yourself a coach, get yourself a trainer, get yourself a teacher, a mentor. If you really want to do this work, you want to be working with somebody who already knows what to do, that knows how to guide you as a student who's learning or if you're established you want to be working with somebody who is well my, my, here's here's my um my kind of point of reference is whether it's business coaching whether it's personal coaching whether it's animal communication coaching you want to work with somebody who is beyond where you want to get to and that means that when you get to the place that you want to get to that person still has space to take you further. So that's always my guide. When you're ready to have a coach, have a teacher, have a trainer, you want to choose somebody that is beyond where you want to get to, that is making results that are bigger, better, different, or doing different things beyond where you want to get to. Um, that's, that's always a good guide. I don't think you can ever go wrong with that guide. And if you're ready for that right now, I would love for you to join me and just seven other people in this really small, intimate event happening at the end of June and all the details I will pop into this post. So until then, everyone, take care. And as always, happy, happy, happy communicating. Bye.